Hello, 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 my beautiful patrons. So I want to give you a couple of announcements. First off, as far as the live stream goes, um, that was kind of me testing it out. So I didn't give everybody a lot of notice because I didn't want everybody to watch it, to be honest, because I didn't know how well we were going to do. So it was kind of a test phase, kind of a test run. There will be future live streams. This is going to be a patron perk. I'm going to be doing it at the very least once a month. Um, for probably an hour. It is probably going to be on Fridays, but the next one I'm going to have you guys, I will give you plenty of notice. And then I know a lot of people were having trouble with the chat. So I'm going to let you know how to do the chat because um, a lot of people were saying stuff on Patreon, but I couldn't see it because I, it, it, the stream actually runs through YouTube. Also the streaming, it's in its beta version with Patreon. So Patreon's testing it out. Not every creator has the, the ability to live stream like I do. So it, it's probably going to be a little glitchy. It's probably going to be a little weird because they're still testing it out. I barely know what I'm doing, so I'm still testing it out. So bear with me on that. I might do a couple more test runs before it's quote-unquote official, but um, I will let you guys know. I will give you definitely advanced notice, far more advanced notice than I gave you before. But I want to thank everybody for participating. I appreciate it. I love talking to you guys. I had such a rush after that. I was, like, so high after that. I was like, this is awesome. I love my patrons. So, um... This video is likely going to go out for some YouTubers as well because I've had a lot of people kind of hit me up. Oh, we don't know what's going on. Like, you know, we need you. We need you. Huh. I mean, I say that like, you know, blah, 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 but I don't mean it that way. Um, but I've just had a lot of people hitting me up. Can you please do a quick and dirty for the YouTubers as well? So this is probably going to go out there too, at least parts of it. So, um, yeah, if you're a YouTuber and you're thinking about becoming a patron, we now have live streaming. <laughs> Uh, we have live streaming going on, so that means you get to talk to me directly while I'm reading cards. And let's see, anything else? Uh, the slots are almost full for the patron patron October for the discounts. In fact, I'm I if you want to get in there, get in there now because it's about to be it's about to be donezo. But I am doing for patrons email readings, discounted email readings all of November. So that will be coming up shortly. And as far as my spooky story goes, okay. So thank you so much for your response on the spooky stories. I very much appreciate it. Actually, you know what? I might not even use these today. We'll see. Uh, I have to say that I went and saw Will the Witch Doctor on Friday. And um, I told him about the cabin. He's actually the one that cleared the cabin before my mom sold it. And um, he said it was really awful. He gave us this whole written report, and he, he basically said how terrible it was. But he, I told him, I said, hey, I don't know if you remember this, but here's the picture. And he said, oh, I remember it. And I said, I wonder if I'm still attached to it. Because in the telling of the story and the recording of the video, I actually felt like I was still there. So he, let me tell you guys this. He went to work on me. He was working in here. And many of you know that I've had dislocated ribs for like a year and a half now, which is super annoying. Um, but anyway, he says, oh, there's something in here. There's something in here. It was very creepy. And he kept yelling at him, no, you can't stay in her. You got to get out of her. And I'm like, what are you doing? And he's like, there's an entity in you. Okay, you guys know I'm a skeptic. You know I don't really believe in this shit. But um, I do believe in energy. So I'm thinking, okay, you know, he wants to call it an entity. I want to call it energy. Either way, it's not, it's not good juju. It's bad juju. So he works on me. He finally, like, wrenches this thing out of me. He actually just, like, throw it out the building. It was the most bizarre experience I've ever had. It was awesome, but it was weird. I will say this. I did feel better after. I felt lighter. And he said, he said, this was holding you back and holding your psychic abilities back. And I'm going, wait, I've been held back because I feel like I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> but um, it was weird. So that's kind of my addendum on the spooky story. And now I have one coming up this week about the Portuguese hall in Benicia, which is absurdly haunted. Um... So I was there this, I have to tell you this, I was there this weekend um, for my grandfather's wake, actually. And um, I don't need consult condolences, by the way. I hate them. I really actually hate condolences, so please don't give them to me. But um, I was there alone. I had to go in and let the caterers in. I was there alone. And um, I swear to God, I heard somebody calling my name, and I thought somebody was there, you know. I thought, oh, somebody's here to help me or whatever. No, there was nobody in the building. And then, this is the worst part, this was scary actually. There's a door, there's a, there's a flight of stairs, and there's a door. 
and on the other side of the door is actually another flight of stairs. So the door was shut, but I, you can see the flight of stairs from the dining room. So I was standing in the dining room, and all of a sudden the door starts to rattle, and the handle starts to move like somebody's trying to get out. I, like, froze. I completely froze. And I'm, like, watching this door. I'm thinking, okay, it's got to be the wind. But then, like, the wind is not going to move the handle on the damn thing. So uh, I watched it for a little bit. And um, then I, I saw, actually, my cousin, thank God, was heading into the building. And he was in the parking lot. And the minute his foot hit the floor of the building, you know, he crossed the threshold the door stopped. The door completely stopped moving. And it didn't move the rest of the day. I was watching it like a hawk. So um, do enjoy, please, the reading on the Portuguese, or not the reading, I'm sorry, the spooky Portuguese haul story that's coming up for you guys. And I want to look at today for your quick and dirty. Um, I'm looking at Trump. Same as the live stream, you guys. He does feel very strong. He feels very, very strong to me. Uh, I don't think he's going anywhere for a minute. I do believe Tillerson is leaving. He feels like a ghost to me. It feels like if, if Tillerson was standing in front of me, my hand would go right through him. Like he feels not solid, which tells me he's on his way out. I think he's going to take quite a few people with him. I think you are headed down, especially November, December. You're going to see more and more firings and resignations coming out of the Trump administration. And I think you're also going to see a lot of actual Republican congressmen, more more of them getting into trouble and more government officials getting into trouble for, you know, really hypocritic, hypocritical stuff. Hydrating. Not sponsored, but, you know, I'll take a case. <laughs> um, I think what you're seeing with Harvey Weinstein and, and the Miami Dolphins coach, this idiot who, who took a video of himself doing coke, like, what are you doing, dude? Like, who does, like, don't videotape yourself doing drugs. <laughs> You're a grown-ass man. Like, you should know better. It's something a child does. Um, and then we have the, the congressman, you know, I, I'm anti-abortion. P.S. Go get an abortion. Like, who is this guy? What is this guy up to? Like, come on, man. I think you're going to see more of that. And I think it's indicative of the, the, the patriarchy. This is, and I, I know there's a video somewhere that I did months ago where I said, you're going to watch the white male rich patriarchy start to fall and it's just going to keep going and this is what you're seeing right now it's happening it's going to continue to happen you're just going to see a lot of this a lot a lot a lot so i know north korea is going to pull some tricks i can tell you that right now but it's nothing horrifying it listen if anybody's going to go to go to war here it's going to be on the trump side not the, the north korean side they just want to they just want to like Tap, tap, tap. They're like, they're like ding dong ditch right now. You know, it's like ring the doorbell, run away. That's all they want to do right now. They just want to ring the doorbell and run away. So please don't worry about them. Really, if you're going to, if you want to worry, which is pointless, but if you want to worry, you go ahead and worry about Donald Trump. Because <laughs> he's the one who, uh, who feels like he wants to push buttons and start, start big problems, really big problems. I know Bob Corker, Bob, Ben, Bob, whatever his name is. He came out, Corker came out and said, look, the guy's a jackass. The guy's an idiot. He's a child. He thinks he's in a reality show. Um, is this going to give any Republicans courage to speak out? I don't know. Let's look at the cards on that. But I don't think so. I don't think so. Are any Republicans going to turn against Trump? I did say in my live stream, and yeah, if you're thinking about becoming a patron, do it. Do it, do it, do it, because I think the live streams are worth it alone. You know, a buck a month. You get to have personal contact with me. I read your stuff in real time. I try to read every every suggestion that comes along. I, I try. But, you know, the more people that get on this live stream, we'll see. But in the live stream, I said um, that – sorry, I'm getting distracted by these cards. Who is this woman? Uh – Anyway, in the live stream, I said, well, I said, actually, it was on Friday. I said, you're going to see more Nazi stuff, hands down, more rallies, blah, blah, blah. And then Charlottesville happened, I think, either that same night or the next day. Um, but I also said that when Tillerson goes, he's going to bring a bunch of people with him. I, he doesn't go alone. Tillerson doesn't go alone. I can tell you that. But I know he goes. I know he goes. He's done so. And I think Miller, <sighs> I don't think he sticks it in either. 
I don't think he stays too long either. I really, really don't. I really don't. So let's go here. Donald Trump keeps getting this lover's card and I don't know where it's coming from. Maybe he is having an affair. Maybe he is having an affair. I don't think these people aren't going to speak out yet. They're just not. There's just not. They're not. Um, they're not. Ha Listen, they've got the sun at the root. So even though they've got the three of swords on top of them, they still have the sun at the root. And they still have the chariot behind them, which is we are going to push our agenda. This is what they want. They want to push their agenda, and until they get what they want, they're not they're not giving up. So I don't think anybody's speaking out. What you've got here, <laughs> uh, failure to communicate. Thank you, Cool Hand Luke. It's money. It's all about the money, and it's about it's about uh, the Obamacare. Right now, nobody's speaking out. Right now, it's like, nope, we're united. We're going to back this guy. We're not going anywhere. I think some people, it is being discussed. It is being considered. This is in the home environment. Just run away, run away, abandon ship, abandon ship, run away. But it's not happening yet. They're going to sit. And here's your Knight of Pentacles. This is them. This is them sitting. They're sitting. But I did say in the live stream, you know what? Tillerson actually ends up actively working against Trump once he leaves. He, he will um, possibly even go straight to Mueller and say, look, what do you want? What do you want to know? Because I'll tell you whatever I can. Tillerson actually feels like he's, number one, he's fed up. Number two, I really think he thought I was going to make a difference. I, that's what I get the sense with him. In a way, the energy re actually reminds me of James Comey. Um, it's the same kind of energy. Like, I, I just want to do this job and I want to do it well. But uh, he didn't realize, because a lot of people actually have been asking me this, how could these people join this administration? And my answer is always the same. It's, they didn't realize really how bad it was. They really, really didn't. So, yeah, I think you're going to see some more ding-dong ditch out of North Korea. I just think you are. I think you're just going to see more of the, the button pushing. Is Trump going to do anything about it? Hmm. Somebody's saying no. Somebody's like, nope. Nope. Nope, you're not going to do that. You're not going to do that. You're not going to do that. But it is feeling increasingly imperative to me, like the timing-wise, the timing stuff. It's feeling increasingly imperative to me that this man be removed from office because the longer it goes on, the more I get the sense of we're headed into a really big disaster. And by the way, I want to thank everybody that's been contacting me about these fires in... Um, California. I'm not close to them. I'm close. Believe me, I'm close. The, the sky is full of smoke and um, it's pretty gnarly, but I'm not close enough right now. I mean, if for, for it to get to me, it would be, it would be like a long haul. So, but I appreciate you guys and I know people are worried about Linda G and, and right now she's okay. So I appreciate everything that you guys are saying. And, um, you know, when I can get some information on who to donate to and where to donate to help everybody, I will let you guys know that on all my platforms. By the way, speaking of platforms, you can find me on Snapchat. I'm back. I am back on Snapchat. Uh, third Eye Kier, K-I-R. So if you want to, that's just, you know what? I snap though. It's like normal everyday life stuff. I was at the Raiders game this weekend. It was disappointing, but there was lots of snaps from it. Lots of lots of champagne induced snaps because yeah, I'm probably the only person on the planet that goes to a Raider game and drinks champagne. Listen, um, somebody's holding him back, and it looks like it's it's his daughter. Here he is in the home environment, so he's in our he's in our reading. Donald is in our reading. The daughter is the energy behind. So somebody appears to be holding him back because listen, he wants to start a nuclear war. That's the card right here. Devil below, moon above. Volatile, emotionally volatile. He wants to do it. Somebody's holding him back. I think he's going to get the opportunity to do it. I think he's continuing quote unquote the opportunity. You know, he'll have a quote unquote reason. But for now, he doesn't do anything. For now, he doesn't do anything. 
but this is his highest wish. He, this man wants to bring war. I don't know why. I don't know why anybody would want to do it, to be honest. But um, for now, you got this guy. For now, it's nothing. For now, he sits there. I read on so many topics on this live stream, I barely remember some of them. <sighs> but I know it. I looked at Harvey Weinstein, and I have to say, like, he feels actually legitimately, like, sick in the head to me. Um, but see, so did Cosby. They just, they didn't feel right to me. They didn't feel right in the head. I, and I will tell you this, you guys, you're going to see more Nazi shit. I just, I can feel it. And I actually feel the energy of this jackass, Milo. Um, his energy feels like it's, it's actually coming more and more and more forward and more forth. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if you see some shit out of him. I know there's so much going on right now. It's it's actually hard for me to pick stuff to read on. But I will say this. Uh, you will continue to see the closer the wolf gets to the door for Trump, the more you're going to see him and Republican Congress trying to pass all this stuff. This is what it is. This is a, It's all a race against time. If you get him out of here soon enough, then he's not going to start a nuclear war. If you get him out of here soon enough, then, you know a lot of these draconian laws are not going to be passed. I mean, this is common sense, but I'm saying this. The Republicans have gambled. They're taking a gamble on time. That's what it is. They're leaving him here because they're trying to push all their stuff. And the, the less they get, the longer they want to keep him, if that makes sense. So I want to look at the 25th Amendment because I think that's where we're headed. If you want to know the truth... I was reading something today and I saw something, 25th Amendment, and I just felt a zing. I felt a hit. So I want to look at it. I know everybody's, we're all kind of thinking Mueller, Mueller, Mueller. And I told you he'd be slow. I told you he'd be very slow and very th thorough. Uh, but let me see 25th Amendment. Let me see 25th Amendment. Let me see. 25th Amendment, shall we? Is Trump going to be out by the 25th Amendment? I don't know. I feel stress on the body. I feel illness. So um, we may not even get to the 25th Amendment. Yeah, his strength, it, it's not well. His strength is waning. I mean physically. Physically, his strength is waning, so he's not well. So we may we may actually have that before we have 25th Amendment. No, I don't think so. Hmm. Now, I, I don't see any movement on it. It looks like somebody wants to do it. Maybe even Pence is pushing for it. Somebody's pushing for it, for sure. Somebody's saying... Can we please work on this, this 25th Amendment situation? Can we please get on this? I think somebody's working on it. I think somebody wants to do it. But I, it looks to me like it's thwarted. So it never actually happens. It looks like it's thwarted. And then here we have, um, interestingly enough, 25th Amendment. To me, this card says proof positive. Homeboy's not in his right mind. I mean, it's there. The information is there. The way to do it is there. For some reason, it gets thwarted. And nothing ends up happening there. So we're not going to go 25th Amendment. But somebody's going to try it, or somebody's already trying, or somebody's working on it. All right, so you know we got to look in on my buddy. I actually want to look at Mueller really quickly. I think the cards are, I, I think they're pretty consistent. I think everything's pretty consistent. I, you know, I don't see anything swinging one way or another. I don't see it going wildly this way and wildly that way. Ever since I've been reading on this stuff back in March uh, publicly and, and, and privately since January, it's, it's pretty much very consistent. It's been the same stuff, which I'm glad. I'm glad. I like to see it. 
So let's look at the Mueller thing. And to be real, you know, I hope this is like coherent because I'm kind of out there in La La Land right now with the readings. I'm, I'm really focused on getting this information. So I'm a little bit not using the right brain or maybe the left brain. There's brains that aren't being used. Maybe I'm not using my whole brain. <laughs> oh, I know we have the dossier, the dossier. I think, you know what, I should look at that. Yep, he's just trudging along. Mueller, trudging along. That's all these cards are saying. He's, he's doing his thing. He's trudging along. Mueller, Mueller brings death. Mueller brings death. I don't believe this is the death of his investigation, although people are actively trying to shut this down at this point. But I don't think it's going to happen. The man is large and in charge. So he's just doing his thing. He's just doing his thing. That's it. Ten of Wands. I don't think this means he's anywhere close to finishing, but I think it's just indicative of him going, okay, I'm doing my job. Here we go. Victory. He's doing his job. So this Russian thing. Remember I said Russia was going to be like a bomb that just goes off and off and off and off and off and off and off. And every time you think it's not going to get crazier or weirder, weirder it's going to get crazier and weirder. This is now happening. We are watching this happen. We are watching it happen in real time. There's more and more of this Russian stuff coming out. Now it's now Google and YouTube are going, oh shit, well, we've been pushing the Russian propaganda too. We didn't know it. They're now going in and shutting down accounts. And um, from what I understand, a lot of these accounts are still active. And they're 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 just starting to kind of weed them out. But you know, um, there are people going, okay, they knew all along, they just wanted the revenue and you know, what's going on here? And it's going to get worse. I promise you. I promise you. When the extent of how Russia got into all this comes out, all the way out, eventually, it's it's bad. It's really bad. I don't think they tampered with voting machines per se, but I think that there was tampering going on. I will say that even in, I'm looking at Russia right now, even in just my own circle of friends and acquaintances and family members, a lot of people I know did not receive their ballots, their absentee ballots. They just didn't get them. And when they tried to go and vote, they couldn't vote at the polls. So interesting, huh? There's Donald. Yeah, see, he's just hanging, you guys. He's just sitting there. He's just hanging. So these cards are like, Donald is not going anywhere right now. He's just not. He's just hanging there. But the seven, seven of Cups to me says he's going cuckoo. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Even more than he was before. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, Russia hands down tampered with this election. Hands down. And it's all going to come out. It's all going to come out. People don't even know the extent of it right now. It seems like they do. And it, let me tell you this. It's going to be... A million times more than you think. A million times more than you think. And you're going to see, it's weird because I feel like in Russia, just by itself, I feel like that there's a rise of protest and then um, it's, it gets squashed for a while. Like, shit gets nasty over there. It gets really nasty over there. As far as what's going to happen over here, I believe you're going to start to see individual states um, I think we already are, but, you know, you're going to start to see individual states going, oh, my God, we were targeted, and this is how we were targeted, and this is what they did, and dot, dot, dot. Um, of course, the swing states. I mean, naturally. But I think it's more than just the swing states, if you want to know the truth. Because I feel, it feels like there's this group that's, like, really looking into it, and they kind of uncover part of it, like part of the strategy, and they're like, okay, everybody hold the phone, hold the phone, hold the phone. And it has to do, yeah, with these swing states, but it's more than just swing states. And I want to say it's something in the, like, northeast, like upper north, upper northeast, <laughs> but there's more. But that, I don't think that comes out yet, but, but the extent of the tampering comes out, but you know what sucks? I feel like nobody does anything about it, government-wise. There's a stall or, or, I don't think it gets squashed, but it's like when it comes out and then it just sort of like disappears and everybody's going, wait a minute, why isn't this being handled? Why isn't this being looked at? Who's in charge of this? Um, 
I believe eventually it does come back. But here's the thing. They don't make a big enough deal out of it as they should. The government, I mean, the United States government. For some reason, they don't. Maybe they don't have to. You know, quote unquote have to. Maybe they've got more, more, more stuff going on, more things on their plate. But, um, yeah, no. Yeah. It's, it's bigger than you think. They, they completely crippled that election. It's way bigger than you think. I don't want to say as far as, you know, they didn't tamper with the machines, but like they didn't switch votes around, you know, they didn't do that. But there was other stuff that was done, like simple things, little things, real simple stuff. This, when this all gets uncovered, the simplicity of it, everybody's going to be like, okay, that's genius. The simplicity of it is what's going to get people. And they're going to go, this is like child's play. How did we not see it? You didn't see it because it's child's play. That's how, that's how you didn't see it. Okay, so I don't know why, but I'm feeling I want to look at Steph Stephen Miller, Stephen Miller. Is he a Stephen or a Stephen? Either way, we're looking at him. Got to look at the nazies. Nazies are going to be big and prominent. There's going to be more stuff. It's gross. And then I think you're going to get some weird ties to Europe. That's kind of what I'm feeling. So you're going to get these weird ties like wait a minute, so like either it's going to be like, oh, this group is actually part of that group, or it's going to be like, oh, these members of this group were in contact with that, you know, Nazi group in, in Europe. I, it, you're going to go, it's going to go trans-Atlantic. Like it's going to cross. Show me Miller. Okay. I may never read on him again because his energy is terrible. And speaking of which, I know there's stuff you guys want me to read on. Um, particularly the, the Vegas incident, which is heartbreaking. I'm not going to do that. I don't. I don't. The energy gets real gnarly, and I don't want to touch it. I'm not going to touch it. So um, I apologize for that because I know a lot of you want my insight. Somebody said, please bring your light to the situation, and it's not somewhere I can go. It's just not. It's just not. So um, that's that. I wonder if he goes to seems like him and Pence don't get along. He's got secrets. He's got secrets. Some kind of disappointment. I don't know if it's some kind of disappointment where he 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 screws up. I don't know if this gets him fired because I'm I'm not really seeing a death card, but I am seeing some kind of he gets called on the carpet. But his end card is the sun, so I'm kind of like, whatever he does, he doesn't go anywhere. It's a possibility. Oh, gosh. Just throw him everywhere, here. It's a possibility. This is up above him. So it's a possibility that he walks, but not right now. He's walking his path. Someone said he wins the race. So he's not going anywhere just yet. He's got something up his sleeve. Something pretty gnarly. But right now, no. Right now, he's staying put. He's not on the best ground as far as his job goes he's got the eight of swords which is swampy ground so he's not really on the best ground um it's volatile the moon is telling me it's volatile volatile that's not a word it's telling me it's volatile the inconstant moon says this is volatile stuff so right now he's okay right now he sits pretty but i feel like that could shift especially i think if you find him connected to some of these really weird groups like really gnarly stuff uh, then he's out. Like, for sure he's out, but not right now. I don't know why I'm being called. I, I feel like I'm being, like, drawn to look at him. Like, I'm being like, you know, come here, Kirsten. Look at this guy. Um, all right, so, you guys. That is, will do it for the quick and dirty. And again, um, I know I've been having some issues with YouTube and uploading, and I got flagged um, for what I think they thought maybe I was a spam account or something. I don't know. It was really weird. I think everything's A-OK -okay now. So it looks like we are we're good to go and I can start uploading and stuff again. So fingers crossed on that. I do apologize for the lack of on tea in your lives. <laughs> uh, but hopefully I can start doing more quick and dirties. So if you have anything you want me to read on, especially for a quick and dirty, well, let me know. And um, I do want to say thank you for everything, as always. As always, thank you for everything. Santos and I are happy little campers. So you guys are a big part of that. All right, my darlings.
Enjoy your evening. Spooky stories coming up for patrons right after this upload. Mwah!